Hey guys, this is Vic with Eurosport Accessories in Anaheim, California. Just wanted to showcase some of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes during this coronavirus pandemic. Um, it's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter. Um, just wanted to show you one of my projects. This is my R32 up behind me um, that I track once in a while and I road use as well. So um, unfortunately, um, a couple weeks ago, I thought I had a connecting rod fail, but seems to be something else that went wrong and so i basically um, stripped it out and you can see behind me i got the motor on the ground and i'm kind of just diagnosing um, what the issue with it is and i haven't found it yet I'm just still working on it but uh, just taking it piece by piece and at this time i already got another motor that i stripped down i'm going to have it fully built uh, with pistons and rods uh, raise compression a little bit Try and add a little bit more power and a little bit more reliability hopefully this time so um yeah i'm going to show you uh the holes that i found on the block surprisingly enough there's a hole in the front and the rear and i'll show you those right now hey guys so here's my r32 3.2 liter vr6 engine um, i've removed it so far from the car just want to show you the damage uh, which i thought was originally a connecting rod failure but Looking at it right now, um, that's, yeah, that's a giant hole inside the block, which is definitely not a good thing. Um, that's what led me to believe that it was probably a connecting rod. Um, at the same time, I'll show you the rear. I ended up finding a second hole, smaller, but really doesn't matter at this point. You know, there's a window um, <laughs> through the block, through the front and the rear. So that's what led me to believe it was a connecting rod, but I found that it wasn't the case. And I just dig a little bit further and further, and I thought maybe it was a valve spring. Um, so I went and checked that out. That wasn't an issue either. So come to find out, I think it's just a, a exhaust valve that let go for some reason. I do rev the engine high, so um, and I do track it. So that's probably bound to happen at some point, but I think this was just kind of a fluke error. I'll try and show you the actual valves that are damaged internally, it's a little bit difficult to see, but I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but um, that's the exhaust port that I actually let go. You can see actually both the valve heads are missing. All you see is just a stem, like a normal one would look like, or like that, but uh, not sure how much you guys can see, but just wanted to show you guys some of the issues that happen when you push an engine hard and you know you do some racing, stuff does happen, but that's okay, I'm gonna be coming back stronger with a fully built engine. I'm gonna do some CP uh, pistons and Carrillo connecting rods and upgrade the valve train and maybe do some port work. So I just wanna showcase some of the stuff that's uh, up and coming and uh, hopefully in the next uh, two to three months, I'll have this thing back on the road and uh, at the track again. Thanks for watching guys.